Hello and welcome to Art Tip Tuesday. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Sam and I'm a full-time artist and my aim is to help and support other pencil artists to grow in skills and confidence and to feel the benefits that regular creative practice has on health and well-being. In today's tip video, I'm going to be showing you a couple of ways to blend graphite pencil and I'm going to be talking a little bit about these amazing pencils that I've discovered quite recently by Faber Castell and they are the Pitt Graphite Matte Pencils. Oh my goodness, they are amazing. They are like butter to draw with, they blend beautifully and I can guarantee that they are going to take your graphite work to the next level. The other amazing thing about them is they go all all the way up to 14B. 14B without a shine. I know that graphite has that kind of notorious shine when you um, press a little bit too hard or whether you layer up. There's always that kind of little bit of a shine that catches the light sometimes and you can't really see the depth of your drawing. So it goes up to 14B and they are matte so there's no shine at all and they've also got this amazing really big tortillion or pencil stump, stump to blend Oh my goodness, it's a game changer. I hope you enjoy the video. So there are a few reasons why I want to show you how to blend with graphite. And there's lots of different examples about why it's important to blend. So in this one, I'm using a tortillion or blending stump. And for this, I am pushing the graphite around a little bit, but mainly softening the pencil stroke. So you can see that the pencil's sketchy lines and I'm starting to soften it, which makes the fur look soft and the texture a lot more realistic. The same in this example as well, when we've gone up through the pencils, maybe using the 6, 7 or 8B, we're just softening the pencil strokes and pushing the graphite around to create a lovely soft fur texture. In this example, I'm using a bigger tortillion to spread out over a bigger surface area. So again, softening, blurring. We want the emphasis to be on the face. So I'm just pushing the graphite around in a much bigger area just to spread it all out and to soften to create a lovely blurry soft texture of wool. And in this example, you can see that I've only put graphite in the lower half, knowing that I can spread it out with the tortillion and push the graphite further up into the ear to create the mid-tones. I don't need to put the graphite in there. I can spread it all out and push it up, creating a much more graduated look. And again, in this example, softening the fur texture, spreading that graphite into the highlighted areas. We've used the Tombow Mono to lift out the highlights and now we need to soften that up quite a lot, spreading it out over the face and into the lighter parts of the fur. You don't have to use a tortillion, you can use a cotton bud or tissue wrapped around your finger as well. They all work brilliantly. And lastly, I wanted to show you how amazing these pencils are, the, the Faber-Castell Pit Graphite Matte Pencils. Just open them for you. And you can see, just getting rid of this, how amazing they are. I've had a little go on them. I haven't filmed a video using one yet, but watch this space. Look at that tortillion, it's amazing. And actually this eraser and pencil sharpener are absolutely fine. So I'm gonna go in first with the HB and I just wanted to show you, I wish you could feel how great they are. They are just a dream to lay down. The graphite lays down beautifully. It lays down evenly and they are just a dream to use. This is the HB and it's actually very fine. I would compare this to an F in a lot of sets, but actually the fine can be a little bit too brittle and a little bit too much of a point. The colour is very, very light, as in the amount of actual depth of colour you get down, but it's absolutely beautiful to use. And moving on to the 14B, I don't know any other sets that have a 14B in them, but look at this, it's just amazing. Using this pencil is just a dream, using this set and obviously going up to 14B, getting it really, really dark without worrying about the matte finish and we can press really hard. So if I burnish now, I just want to show you Look at how dark that is. I'm going to kind of zoom in so that you can see. No shine at all. Isn't that fantastic? I definitely would recommend these pencils big time. And here are just a few examples of what you can create with them. 
So you can see you can create shine with no shine. How amazing is that? I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found those tips on blending graphite helpful. And I wonder if you're going to try those pencils for yourself. I really look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.